प्लीज मिस्टर आनंद शर्मा प्लीज नाउ टूडे आस्किंग अ सिंपल क्वेश्चन इफ टू मिनिस्टर्स कैन से दैट दे केम बैक बिकॉज ऑफ सोनिया गांधी If the government of India did not uh, object What to they going saying? to enjoy Christmas there, surely accountability But will be Mr. there. Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad, if these two ministers committed a mistake, jail, why, why should the prime ministerial candidate of the BJP commit the same mistake? No, 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 I am appalled. No, no, please, I'm Mr. Gaurav Bhatia, I can understand how very good patience. I can understand your eagerness to support the Congress party. Disrespect for no. Please wait for that. Or no, let me complete no, no, my no, sentence. No, 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 no. I am. I am. I am also. Yes. I'm when they say, saying, when they make personal attacks this. against no, your no, prime ministerial candidate, I raise the question of principle. Please wait for your turn. I am not on personalities. I am only saying my point is very simple. In the issue of elections, or no, Goswami, ideology will be raised. Governance will be raised, and also personalities will come into focus. Today, when she was Sonia Gandhi but, yesterday, but, challenged Narendra Modi that he is trying to overshow his credentials as a Adnan. nationalistic. That response has been given, and yes, if Sonia Gandhi Adnan. can be given credit by ministers, response has been given. that because of her they were released, she will also have to. No, I all I am saying. Oh, what? Who makes it? That repetitive. issue is relevant. No, you, 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 you decide. You, as you, I said, will remain government. Mr. Prasad, will remain price right. Will remain me, me, India. Yes, we are so ready no. for that. By the United States, it is, it is also that. a clever move by the BJP to deflect from the issue of communalism because everybody has been attacking the BJP on communal politics. So they are also trying to deflect from that issue, which is their weakness. <laughs> Ajnab, Goro, I Ajnab, know you I are I going mean? for that. But people are not going Adnab. to be. You would love to have a communal secular what? debate. Well, one second. To show for that. One second. Uh, one minute. Ravi Shankar ji, Ravi Shankar ji, I think, I think only the result would tell where the people of this country are. Well, in uh, in in, uh, in, in October, you are a very yes, good yes, lawyer, yes, but you are not. In October, no, I have some fact check. Fact. So let's check on fact. Check in October second, two thousand twelve. Okay, October second, two thousand twelve. Narendra Modi said that one thousand eight hundred and eighty crores has been spent from the public exchequer on the foreign travels of Sonia Gandhi, which means more than the total yearly budget of Bhavnagar, Jamnagar, Junagadh, and Rajkot Municipal Corporation has been spent on her luxury hotel stays and her foreign trips. Show me the proof today. Show me the proof, Mr. Prasad. Yeah, that also was supposed to be a development Honorable focused Swami, election. You Honorable can't have Swami, the. Just a minute. Yes. I take Am a I strong offense to, to this, Mr. Goswami. Why? You are making the debate today to degenerate into some kind of almost a scandalous allegation. No, what I'm saying Political is. Political issues are made. What? Let there will be. Who no, 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 threw the allegation? Reply, since uh -huh. you said that. When Mr. Uh, when Mr. Narendra Modi said that Mr. Shivaji Sonia Gandhi yes. is reluctant that Rahul Gandhi be declared as a PM candidate, in spite of Chidambaram demanding, Digvijay Singh demanding, Rahul, Mr. Uh, Kapil Sibal demanding repeatedly, so many CMs demanding, because an Hello. eminent electoral Hello. defeat Hello. stares in the face. Res He re makes that point. Re responses. The political point Hello. being made. Responses. So you are trying to read into it. Responses. First, Vinod Mehta, then Anand Sharma. The political Hello. point being made. All I am saying. Is elections, that political uh, point should be made and must be made? All I am saying is that later the person who you know the Adnab. applicant of the RTI Ramesh Sharma went on national television to say he had received no such information on Sonia Gandhi's trips in response to his RTI application. Information collected by the Ministry of External Affairs and Indian Missions Abroad gave him a figure of 80 to 85 lakhs. There's a difference between 80 to 85 lakhs and 1,880 crores. That's all. I am saying who makes the debate fact? Who makes the debate personal? India wants an issue. based election we are getting a personality election from the people who are saying they want an issue based election counters coming in vinod mehta first and then anand sharma vinod mehta and ravi shankar prasad please can i also come in arna after vinod mehta yes please okay everybody comes in here now i am saying that the tone of the debate is set by the leader the tone of the debate is set by mr narendra modi mr ravi shankar prasad and others can bring up these lofty development issues but the main theme is why what are we discussing today we are discussing what mr narendra modi said 
So Mr. Narendra Modi sets the tone of the debate. And not now, what Sonia Gandhi said. debate was going very you know, well. Uh, what did Sonia Gandhi say? Please, please, this debate, this debate was going very well until Mr. Modi started that AK-49 Pakistani agents business. <coughs> and from then it has been going downhill all the way and we have reached 2004 when we said that Sonia Gandhi will sell secrets to the Pope and Sushma Swaraj was going to get her head shaved off. I mean, and the people of the country gave a fitting response. Now Sonia Gandhi is vulnerable on many areas, on the areas that Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad has rightly emphasized. Stick to those. Let's have a meaningful election. Let's have a meaningful debate. Get away from these really dirty and unattractive issues where you challenge somebody's patriotism. No, but that Sonia Gandhi did the same, Mr. Mehta. I think you're being too soft on Sonia Gandhi. She is the one who began the debate on the 30th. Which is always. Yeah, she, is she, always. she began. She, no, no. So I criticize her also. I criticize her. But she is not saying that Mr. Modi belongs to some other country. Come on, we don't matter. She is not saying Come that on, Mr. Modi, is, Modi so belongs, belongs to some other country. I am sorry to interrupt you. I, the, the harsh language you use against Narendra Modi. I have rarely seen you criticizing in the Who same is? way against Sonia Gandhi. In spite I of have, I, so I, I, I am the first person, Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad, who is saying that Mr. Modi is the next Prime Minister of India. He is going to be sworn in on May the 16th and we should give Mr. Modi a chance. I am on record saying this. The, the whole question is the, the whole question is this whole issue of patriotism. My Arda, question to I Anand Sharma is now? this. No. Arda, the... my, my question to Anand Sharma Arda, is this. They, they say that it's an... Okay, Gaurav, go ahead. Go ahead, you Gaurav, go ahead. BGP says that it's a... Yeah, the BJP says that, Anab, you know, you they are fighting the elections on the uh, Anab, plank of development, <coughs> employment. But uh, people would like to know from them what is their policy, international policy, what is their fiscal policy, devaluation of rupee, what about how would they fight inflation. And we don't see this in any of the speeches by Mr. Narendra Modi. And the kind of restraint that we would expect from a prime ministerial candidate the kind of responsible behavior that would, we would expect from a prime ministerial candidate is completely missing. And Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad was saying that we are with the Congress. I would say that on a matter of principle, the Congress to use some loose statements which they shouldn't be using for any leader in the BJP also. And that is how we can raise the level of debate. Otherwise, it would always remain a tutu meme kind of a discussion. And I think the responsibility lies with all the parties for that matter. Yeah, but it's also the willingness to get drawn into the debate. You see, Mr. Rajagopal is partial to the BJP. What he doesn't answer is the willingness of Narendra no, no, Modi no. to get put, drawn no, into no, a personal debate. No, no, it's not like that. It is not like that. It is not like that, Arunab. You are provoking me. The point is, Narendra Modi, by raising Sonia Gandhi issue, he sidelined Rahul Gandhi. That Anand Sharma is understanding, but he is not speaking it out. You must provoke him to say that. <laughs> well, I don't know. Uh, what, I'd, what I'd actually ask Anand Sharma is this, that Sonia Gandhi in her speech yesterday, which is really where the controversy began, she questioned the BJP's patriotism and called the party a, a, a people with bad intentions. My question to you, Anand Sharma, is this. Modi refers to secularism as India first. One. On the 125th anniversary of Maulana Abdul, Abul Kalam Azad, he calls him a leader, quote, who transcended barriers of caste, community, creed or party lines. Azad had himself claimed that both Hinduism and Islam have equal claims on Indian culture. If this is the way Modi describes Maulana Abdul Kalam Azad, how do you call Modi? Unse you know, not secular can you, and unpatriotic. You have asked me a question. You have asked me a question. Arnab has raised many issues. First of all, I will say, and very correctly and firmly, that Mr. Narendra Modi, many of his statements you have quoted last year on Mrs. Gandhi's illness, on a treatment, on other issues. He has known to drag the political discourse 
to the lowest depths over the years. Number two, Mr. Narendra Modi is not known for his knowledge and understanding of economics, geography, administration or history. <laughs> Have you ever heard him talk about Malana Azad until now? Have you ever heard him speak no, no. about Sardar Patel before he decided with this grandiose project? No, I am just telling you something. Why? Because he has to prove. He no, has to today he, prove. Well, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what Modi said question, about Azad. I'll tell you what Modi Congress said about Azad. If raise something, it, there is a reason. There is a reason. What is the RSS concept of Hindu nationalism? The theory of Hindutva. Is Modi distancing himself from that? You the tell me. Distancing, uh, distancing itself. No, no, you, you tell me, Anand Sharma. They have Sharma. to prove. They are trying to mislead the people. No, no, you tell me. And if we say these are crocodile tears. No, no, no. Mr. Mr. Anand Sharma, you tell me. I know what Azad had said. Maulana Abdul Kalab Azad had said, Islam has now as great a claim on the soil of India as Hinduism. Just as a Hindu can declare with pride he is an Indian and follows Hinduism, so we can say with equal pride we are Indians and we follow Islam. And Modi has said about exactly. Azad, there can be no that greater disservice to our history. Democracy. No, no. Modi has said about Azad, there can be no greater disservice mm -hmm. to our history than viewing these stalwarts through the narrow prism of political happy. partisanship. No, so Mr. Anand Sharma, are you going to deny an we opportunity for Mr. Talked Modi? About it. Are you going to deny an opportunity? It's Mr. not a question of denying an opportunity. It shows that this is political opportunity. Political opportunism. opportunism. Okay. D display. Okay. So L listen. Adnab, let me tell you. Can I just have no, one word? No, but Modi cannot befool Adnab, the people of India. Word? He's divisive. No. Number can one, he's one divisive. Word? Number two, he is a couple of years older than me. I have, the pe people of my generation have always known what Maulana Azad did, what secularism is. It has taken him 63 years of age now to utter these words for the first time. No, but he Adnab. said it. No, when he who says it, you say, speeches, I don't believe him. Maybe he has hired some but, but speech again, writers who are... No, no, one second. Person, personalities, Adnab. not issues. W one minute, Vinod Mehta, one Adnab. minute. I, I must take a response. Well, we are willing to debate the issues. If Mr. Narendra Adnab, Modi can, can come and word? debate on your TV channel, or if he ever addresses the press conference and gives Mr. Arnab an opportunity, or Vinod Mehta, uh, my friend, if you get an opportunity actually to interview him in a press conference, we, the country is waiting as to what Adnab. he has to say. No. Besides, <laughs> of course, his acid tongue and the vitriolic... No, uh, but he, he believes up. in ma monologues, not dialogues. Mr. Adnab, he only I believes in say? monologues. Adnab. Yes, Mr. Mehta. Uh -huh. Well, I'm not going to respond now. I'm Mr. coming to you to respond. Is going on. To I say, I, I say, this is not I fair. say, Mr. Modi is a patriot. I say, Sonia Gandhi is a patriot. Let us get back to the real debate and let us not do have this phony debate of who is Indian and who is not Indian and who is sold out to a foreign power. Both no, Mr. 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 Mehta, Mr. Mehta, let us not create an artificial peace where there isn't. The BJP remains the principal opposition party in this country. It has been accused by the Congress party of even running terror camps. This is the reality. Now, I asked Mr. Anand Sharma that this is what Narendra Modi says about Abul Kalam Azad. And we know Abul Kalam Azad's views. But Mr. Anand I've Sharma answered, says that is political opportunism. I it a is a different answer every time. It is, yes, it, this is. It is, it is it Ravi Shankar Prasad. He has waited to turn 63 years of age and to be nominated by RSS to be BJP's Prime Minister and candidate. One. Is this, the, open is this the RSS point the of view? What he thinks of Malana Azad. I, is, My is, counter question is what prevented or stopped Modi from talking about these issues? I will, I will get the answer from Ravi Shankar talked. Prasad before closing the debate. Mr. Prasad, it's time for you to respond directly on this to Anand Sharma. Oh, no, first of all, let me say one thing. I can understand the hatred against Narendra Modi by Mr. Anand Sharma and company, my good friends. But at least... No, but we don't believe in politics the of hate. Of people, I'm just the exposing Prime him for what he is. No, please, please. He just, the uh, Anand Sharma, I did know. not interrupt you. Please, Without wait his for your mask. turn. No, please, Arnav okay. Goswami. Uh, Arnav, allow me to reply now. First of all, I'm trying to say, but the kind of language being used, I'm good. The people of the country are seeing the kind of pathological hatred which the likes of Anand Sharma are demonstrating. And they will respond on the 16th of May very convincingly. Although Anand Sharma and his friends in the Congress party have a problem with the RSS for the last 50 years, and the RSS as a nationalist organization is growing and will continue to grow, and the Congress party is reducing the margins. 
But today you talked of Alana Azad. Let then me give you a very concrete Sardar example. Except what Sardar Patel said on about RSS. On 20, Don't on defend the indefensible. Of October. Don't yes, distort Mr. history. Mr. Sharma, please. Mr. Sharma, please. Uh, on the 27th of October in the Hunkar rally at Patna, mm -hmm. where 8 to 9 lakh people were there, there was Hunkar. attacked by jihadi terrorists. Seven people died. I was on the march myself. Yes. All were saved because of sheer providence. What happened there is well known to you. Arnav Goswami, Narendra Modi comes. And what he says in conclusion, today Hindus have not to fight Muslims or Muslims have to fight Hindus, they have to fight poverty. In that provocative okay. circumstances, where 80 people have been injured by bomb blocks, Very good. seven I people have been injured by terrorists. Who accused him by the Raja and given him the answer by the BJP. The, the problem with Arun Sharma is that the people of India are looking towards Narendra Modi. That they are no, not going to die in the wall. They are more of the Raja and given to kids by the Raja and And the issue will be on development. The issue will be security. I say this. The issue will be... I say this with all sincerity as I close this debate. I have one thing to say. I have one thing to say. We know. We know the consequences. We know. We know. I just say one thing. Gentlemen, one minute. We know the consequences of the Motka Sodagar comment in 2007. This is the election of 2014. We want, we want an issue-based election. We don't want a personality election. We don't want an acrimonious election. The 100 million young voters of this country want to vote on issues. Raising these issues. Not on hate. But the country is seeking answers on governance issues. Okay, so let's have a Sonia Gandhi versus Narendra Modi debate. If they want to debate, I'd say bring them on. Let's have a debate right here on Times Now. Between Sonia Gandhi and Narendra Modi. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining me on that debate on the news hour tonight.